Don't you think it's about time we compare Apple AirPods Pro 2 to prescription hearing aids? Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, we're gonna find out if the Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature is actually better than prescription hearing aids. Now I can't tell you how many people I've seen commenting online that swear up and down that their Apple AirPods Pro 2 outperform their prescription hearing aids. Now I've been following Apple's entry to the hearing aid space for around five years at this point with the release of their transparency feature in their Apple AirPods Pro back in 2020. Now I've completed multiple detailed reviews of their AirPods over the course of that time and most recently reviewing their clinical grade hearing aid feature that they released back in September of 2024 in their Apple AirPods Pro 2. Honestly, I was impressed with the transparency mode feature inside of headphone accommodations for the original AirPods Pro and they did improve upon this in the AirPods Pro 2 with this new clinical grade hearing aid feature. But the question still remains, is this hearing aid feature inside of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as good or even better than prescription hearing aids? Well, before I answer that question, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And let me know down in the comment section if you have ever tried the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids and how they stacked up against your prescription hearing aids. Okay, so quick disclaimer here. The Apple AirPods Pro 2 are technically over-the-counter hearing aids. This means that they are only intended for adults with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. If you have a hearing loss that falls outside of this mild to moderate range, then it is not a fair comparison with a prescription hearing aid because the AirPods Pro 2 just don't have the same gain and output capabilities. So the basic of my comparison is with a mild to moderate hearing loss to keep things fair. That being said, let me quickly address how to actually set up your AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids. If you want a more detailed explanation on how to set up your AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids, I do have a tutorial video that I will link down in the description for you. Generally speaking, when you're setting up your AirPods Pro 2, you have to make sure that you select the right rubber tip that fits your ears well. Once you do, you need to grab your Apple device and go through the rest of the setup process to turn these into hearing aids. Apple does give you the ability to test your own hearing wearing the AirPods Pro 2 and administering the hearing test through your iPad or through your iPhone. You also have the ability to upload your professional audiogram into your iPad or your iPhone for it to use that for your initial program settings. From there, you can adjust the amplification levels, the left versus right balance. You can adjust it to darker for more low frequency or brighter for more high frequency, less or more ambient noise reduction, and conversation boost for focusing on speech coming from in front of you. For prescription hearing aids, you go through a fairly similar process. First, your hearing care professional will perform something called otoscopy, where they look inside of your ears to see if you have any earwax or a foreign object for them to pull out of your ears before they take and do a comprehensive hearing evaluation on you. Once they have this audiometric data, they'll be able to use it to determine the appropriate type of rubber dome because they do come in a variety of different sizes and styles. They may even elect to use a custom ear mold on you that has an acoustically optimized vent. This all depends on your unique hearing loss configuration. The biggest difference here is that the AirPods Pro 2 only have four different sizes of these closed ear tips. So if you can't find one that works for you, you're kind of out of luck. Now, just like you would do a hearing test inside of your Apple device to determine the initial amplification settings of your AirPods Pro 2, the initial amplification settings of prescription hearing aids are also determined based on your audiogram. Now, once this first fit is completed, ideally your hearing care professional will perform more fine tuning, specifically using real ear measurement to customize the audio of your prescription hearing aids to your hearing loss prescription. Now, if you're unfamiliar with real ear measurement or this is the first time that you're hearing about it, I also highly recommend that you check out this video that I will link in the description because the benefit of any hearing aid is directly tied with how well your hearing aids are programmed to match your hearing loss prescription and real ear measurement is the only way to do it. Now, there are also a ton of other digital features that you have inside of prescription hearing aids that you do not have inside of the Apple AirPods Pro 2. This includes features like noise reduction, directionality, speech enhancement, compression, expansion, own voice reduction, and the list goes on and on. Once your amplification levels and digital features have been optimized following a best practice protocol, then your prescription hearing aids will be capable of performing their absolute best. Now that you know how the Apple AirPods Pro 2 and prescription hearing aids are set up, how do they actually compare when it comes to performance? Well, I'll start by saying that the Apple AirPods Pro 2 significantly outperformed pretty much every prescription hearing aid out there when it comes to direct audio streaming. 
This is largely due to the fact that you use these more closed off rubber ear tips on the AirPods Pro 2, which traps in more of your low frequency streamed audio. This makes music sound more rich and full, and it also allows you to cancel out a lot of your surrounding background noise when you're doing streaming. When you're using prescription hearing aids, typically you will not use a closed off rubber ear tip like this. You'll typically use more of an open dome like the one that you see here, because that allows some natural sounds in your environment to enter into your ear canal naturally where you may not have any hearing loss at. But this has a negative side effect of when you're trying to stream audio into your ears, a lot of those low frequencies will leak out of these open perforations so you never get to experience the low frequency sounds in music or speech. These open domes also allow in more of your background noise so you can't really do a lot of noise reduction because even if the hearing aid is processing out a lot of the noise in your environment when you're streaming audio, a lot of that background noise can enter in through these open perforations which ultimately has a negative impact on your overall performance when you're streaming. However, there are also several areas where a prescription hearing aid will outperform an Apple AirPod Pro 2. First is the sound of your own voice. So when you're using the AirPods Pro 2 and you completely seal off your ear canal with the rubber tip, that also traps your own voice inside of your ear canal and creates something called the occlusion effect. This is where your own voice sounds really boomy and loud to yourself. If you're using one of these open rubber ear tips or even a vented ear tip on a prescription hearing aid, your own voice is able to leak out of your ears so you don't get as much of your own voice perception. So if you plan on talking to other people when you're wearing your devices, you typically want to have your ear canal more open. Second, open domes or vented domes that you would typically use on prescription hearing aids also prevent insertion loss. So like I mentioned a little bit earlier, because your ear canals are more open, it allows more external sounds to enter into your ear canal naturally. But if you have normal low frequency hearing, let's say, you want to be able to use your natural low frequency hearing and then just supplement your mid and high frequencies using the hearing aid. When you close off your ear canals entirely, it forces all of the sound to go through the actual amplification process to overcome the insertion loss that that would give you. And when you consider the fact that most people with mild to moderate levels of hearing loss do still have some normal hearing in certain frequency ranges, you typically want to be able to use your normal hearing rather than have to resort to amplified hearing for your normal hearing frequency ranges. Third, prescription hearing aids can be programmed to precisely match your hearing loss prescription. While Apple does a decent job of allowing you to customize the audio of your AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature, it comes nowhere even close to what you can do with a prescription hearing aid. Using real ear measurement, you can see here that a prescription hearing aid is much better at matching the prescriptive targets for a mild to moderate hearing loss than you can with the AirPods Pro 2. Now you could argue that objectively matching your hearing loss prescriptive targets doesn't matter a whole lot. It really comes down to what's your perception of overall performance with these two different devices. However, the perceived benefit that you get from a hearing aid is largely dependent on how closely you can match your prescription. But this does lead us to the fourth area that prescription hearing aids typically outperform Apple AirPods Pro 2, and that is the overall performance. If you check out Hear Advisor, which is a third-party independent hearing aid testing lab, they do apples to apples performance comparisons of different over-the-counter and prescription hearing aids for an N3 mild to moderate hearing loss that you can see illustrated here. As far as overall performance is concerned, not only do the Apple AirPods Pro 2 rank in the bottom 40% of all hearing aids tested, both over-the-counter and prescription, but I only found one prescription hearing aid that Hear Advisor ranked below the AirPods Pro 2, which was the Starkey Genesis AI. And the only reason the AirPods Pro 2 ranked higher than this prescription hearing aid is because of the streaming sound quality and feedback suppression capabilities using the closed rubber ear tips of the AirPods Pro 2. With the initial fit settings following the Apple hearing test, it scored only a 1.8 out of 5 for speech and quiet performance, a 1.9 out of 5 for own voice sound quality, and an abysmal 0.8 out of 5 for speech and noise performance. Even with the tuned fit, the AirPods Pro 2 struggled to hit a mild to moderate hearing loss prescription when using real ear measurement. And the performance wasn't much better following optimization. The speech and quiet score only improved from 1.8 to 3.8, 
on voice stayed the same at 1.9, and speech and noise performance only improved from 0.8 to 2.6 out of 5. Now if you compare that to a prescription hearing aid like the Phonak Audeosphere Infineo, not only was this prescription hearing aid capable of matching the prescriptive targets almost exactly up to 6,000 Hz, but it also scored a 4.8 out of 5 for speech and quiet performance, 2.3 out of 5 for own voice, and a whopping 4.6 out of 5 for speech and noise performance. And this performance data isn't just better with a premium Phonak hearing aid. It's better with pretty much every prescription hearing aid available on the market as long as those hearing aids were fit and programmed following a best practice protocol, including realer measurement. Now you could argue that it is very difficult to find a hearing care professional who follows these best practices, but one of the easiest ways to find one that does is to go to my website, hearingup.com, and finding a HearingUp network member in your area. HearingUp members have been vetted and are committed to following comprehensive audiologic best practices to ensure that your prescription hearing aids significantly outperform perform your AirPods Pro 2. So if hearing your absolute best is your top priority, finding a hearing up network member in your area is your best bet. So as you can see, when you're talking about hearing aid performance and comparing the AirPods Pro 2 to a prescription hearing aid, it really depends on what type of performance you're looking for. I would argue that if you're looking for the best streaming sound quality possible and the ability to block out your surrounding noise when you are streaming, the AirPods Pro 2 is the clear winner. And honestly, that isn't that surprising considering that the main function of the AirPods Pro 2 is to be used as an earbud. However, if your top priority is to make sure that you can understand soft speech, speech and quiet environments, and speech and noise, then your best bet is to go with the prescription hearing aid that has been programmed properly. In fact, the only way that I've found that the AirPods Pro 2 can ever outperform a prescription hearing aids when it comes to actually hearing better is if the prescription hearing aids were never set up the right way.